Can a Tiny 1000 watt generator run a welder? Let's find out with the Titanium 125 and your favorite handheld welder from Timu. Before we dive into the calculations, let's just hook them both up and see what happens. Started out with the titanium with middle settings and that's a definite no. Turn the settings down and well, it is throwing a spark. Still not, I would consider a full weld by all means, but we're getting there. And with how the titanium ran, it's no surprise that the generator can't keep up with the stick welder. On the lowest settings, I can barely get a spark and that's about it. Generators are rated off of wattage. You'll see it definitely somewhere on the packaging or on the machine itself. If you're lucky, the appliance or tool that you're using will actually give you the wattage. You know, for example, of course, not the welders, but if you've got a microwave, you know, that's 1500 or a toaster that's 800. Well, first of all, if you want to run those together or at the same time, you need to add those together uh, separately, then really there's your answer. That's how much wattage it will be using uh, while running. Now, just because we got our answer doesn't necessarily mean that we can run it with this guy, you know, for sure the microwave, you know, 1500, that's well over the thousand. Hopefully, you know, that ain't going to cut it. The uh, 800 is less than the thousand. That would actually be pushing it and may or may not run it as well. Let me explain here in a minute. First, let's actually dive into the welder side of things on how to size that. And it's as simple as taking the amperage, which it's listed at max 23 amps. Well, we're going to use Ohm's law and times that by... We're going to times that by 120 since that's what we're using. So all it is is amperage times voltage equals wattage. 23 times 120, you get about 20, I don't know what it is. 27 something, let's round it up to 2800 watts. I hope you can tell that that is nowhere near the thousand and this wouldn't cut it. But hey, why, why were we able to get something out of it? Well, it's because... Welders are pretty awesome in the fact that you can adjust the settings. It's not just a plug and play, so you can actually turn it down, thus requiring less amperage or less wattage, as you will, to create that weld. Let's say you already have one and you want to work backwards. Well, it's pretty simple. You just got to reverse it, take the thousand, divide by 120, the voltage, and it only gives you about 8.3 amps. Now, keep in mind, when you hear amperage with welders, uh, like for example, this is a 125, you know, that's the max output amperage. Well, that's the output amperage, not the input. So that 8.3, that is what is being able to go into it. It will then be, you know, go through the whole transistors, your IGBTs, this is an inverter type machine. So it will drop that voltage, raise the amperage and so that 8.3 amps will probably turn into i don't know maybe about 40 or 50 amps still not that much i mean we're talking about the very lowest settings remember so i mean i don't want to get into exact numbers here because there are so many inefficiencies within you know your mechanical motor gas engine and then you've even got a and pretty much an alternator that's what's converting or that's what's giving you that electricity out all you got to remember is to always round up at least one or two sizes minimum when you're selecting your, you know, your wattage of your generator. If I want to run this at full dial, it's going to require 2800 watts. I'm definitely going to need a bigger generator than this. And that is why I have my 3500 watt generator. Well, yeah, you may see the 4000. Don't be fooled by the gimmicks of peak or maximum wattage. You want to go off of the running wattage. Yes, it probably can hit that 4000 in an ideal situation. And even then, the running watts is kind of uh, you got to play with. So just for example, yes, it will run this welder. No issues. That is when I'm trying to go right in the middle of the range. Take a listen when I actually max this welder out. Your generator should not be hopping around like this. If it is, it's being way overworked. Take off some of the load or it won't last very long. Now, as far as the handheld welder, eh, just like the titanium, the 3500 watt generator did run it just fine at the medium or mid settings. 
One last thing, if you've got a welder with 220 capabilities, it's well worth it to upsize the generator that has 220 output as well. You'll just get the most and best power for the welder with that type machine. I'm MechMaster, we'll see you next time.